everyone welcome to creating with Wendy I want to create something else today yay Wendy <laughs> um, there is a challenge a monthly challenge going on in paper possibility crazy crafters Facebook group and you have to decorate a, an index card now I've looked and looked for my normal size ones but I can't find them but I did find some of my larger index cards so and they they've been coffee dyed so I thought I'd use a couple of those and I found my smaller ones and I might have a go at a couple of those as well so um, we can more or less do anything we want with them so I grabbed some papers I grabbed the stamp set now this is a um, it's more like a sewing stamp set which is good because I can do some make some um, make some ephemera for that sewing journal that I'm doing so I've got that as well and I also got these flowers out and I also got out a, a napkin and some of these these are rub-ons which I really should just use up and just some papers to collage on them plus I also got some of those dried flowers which are lovely to use and I got a couple of sayings um, enjoy the view live the adventure see I could use just half of that one this one here there is beauty in simplicity and from this day forward so I thought I'd use up a couple of those too because I have got quite a few of those little cut off sayings from the 12 by 12 papers that um, that I want to use up so what I thought first I might just grab my glue stick and I've got some paint up here as well um, just out of view I just grabbed a couple of paints that I thought I might like to use so what I thought first um, I might just start by collaging some papers on here so this is just an old textbook paper that I'm just going to glue on here um, it said that we had to do decorate both sides uh, I think I actually want to keep one side for writing on so I maybe just put a little bit of paint or something on that side there but I am going to just put some little scrappy papers on each one and just see what I can come up with I think and I didn't um, gesso them first which it should be alright I suppose okay so that's those two done I've put some on here Okay. 
Uh, this is, what is it today? Wednesday morning here today. And the sun is shining and we've got no rain. Yay! Uh, gosh, we've had some rain, guys. Really have. Okay, let's split this one up a bit. down in that corner. Okay, so I only got one piece of that, didn't I? Yep, so I might put some music paper on this one. a little strip that and it's a little bit straighter and Is that all down? Yep, that's all down. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going... Oh, I've got a... I'll use this scrap piece up too. Why not? Just so I don't have to put it in my bin and, um, and fill my bin up, so I'll just put that on there. Okay. Alright, so I've got some paper on there <coughs> and I'm just thinking maybe a few little strips of coloured paper too. Just for something different. So I'll put the glue on the back of those ones. couple on that one. And we've got a couple of little pops of colour on that. Maybe go down and rip that image off. I'll come down this side here with these ones. Got a couple there. And I've got a couple there. Alright, so now I will just trim off around these edges here. So we've got one, two, three, four. Now what I might do, <coughs> pardon me, is just grab a little bit of my 
gesso and I'm going to grab, I'll grab an old brush and just put a little bit of this on with a dry brush just kind of like um, dab this on a bit I was going to use my finger to put this on but I thought oh well just use my brush because I do I do like using my fingers with the paints okay so just putting a little bit of that on little bit of the gesso on my page whoops sorry guys keep hitting that that's the the tripod leg so I thought I'd do these make these ones up so that I can put them in in that journal that I'm making so I'm doing quite a few little embellishments for it. Okay, so that's a bit of gesso on them. Now I do want to put some colour on them. So I've got my olive and I've got a peacock and I've got a dark patina that's a metallic and I've also got a gold metallic. So I might use this one first and I'm just going to put a couple of little blobs on there and just do more or less the same thing. Just brush it around and just add another bit of colour to it okay so that's that one so far Okay, it's another bit of colour and the same with these. I'm running out of my my olive. I've still got a, a thing for all of it, <coughs> pardon me, for the colour olive at the moment. I think I just want a little bit more down there, in that corner. Yep. Okay, so that's enough for that one. And the last big one here. Okay, so I've got some of that one on there too now. And I put that on, I used um, the same brush as the gesso so it was still dry. Okay, now I've got a bit of peacock, which is 
well, more bluish but I'm going to put a little bit of that on here as well and see how it goes just a smidgen I think of that one yep the colors of those so far and I'll do it with the other ones more than what I actually wanted on that one but that's okay okay done so I've got some paints on there um, which I'm liking the, the way they look so now let's I was going to put some of that on one of them and do some stamping on one as well eh, why not let's just I'm going to cut this first I could rip it but I just might Cut this around here. And then pull the backing pages off. So let me have a look. Okay, so I've got that one there. I want something up in this little corner here. Um, Maybe that one, I think. I'll cut that around that. So, one. Come on, don't make it hard for me. There we go. So I'm going to put that just up there in that corner. Now with these, I um, I could use my my glue stick, but I'm going to use my matte deco gel because I want them to go into the background a bit. I did get a new bottle. So I'll grab a brush for that. That one I'll do. And I'm going to put that one in this corner. Just there. Might need a bit more down here though. Okay. And I'll just gently go over the top with a little bit more of that gel. Right, so that one, that corner there is on, and I'll just move these ones out of the road so I don't get any stuff on them. So I'm going to do this one now and put the bigger one down. Just put that down there gently and just 
very carefully press that out and lift this side up here and press that one out to and I'll just put another coat of the matte gel over the top and let it all push into the background I love that butterfly, that's a very pretty butterfly on there And I'm only putting this on very gently. I'm putting a lot of it on, but that's okay. But I'm just pressing down gently so I don't actually rip my napkin. Because we all know that they can rip pretty easy, don't we? Okay, that's on there. That looks good. I like that one. So I'm going to let that dry now because that really needs to have a dry and when it's dry might do some stick come back and do some stamping on it and i think i'm going to sew around the edges as well so i'll put that one up just up there let it have a dry now this one uh i'm not sure if i want it the same i've got a bird um, and I've got these see I don't even think I might use them now I might just keep them all plain and I'll put that back in there so what I think um, I actually might use this again but use this part here with the smaller butterfly so let me see so what I might do I'm going to cut that butterfly out and just go up around this way with it it'd be nice to have in like matching sets wouldn't it whether I use them in that sewing journal or not but um, so we've got that one there I like that I'll take the backing paper off so we've got that one with that butterfly there and now I want something else down here which I might just put this one down there yeah all the flower might do the flower let's put another little flower in here so let's just what can I do with that all right we'll just cut that off Take the backing papers off that one. Maybe and something else down here. Uh, let me see. Um, do I want another flower there? Or maybe another butterfly. I'm going to cut that butterfly out. Because maybe I do want that other butterfly there um, I cut up around here and see if I can piece this on somehow uh, would be good 
if my butterfly was more over here. Um, yeah, I have to cut that off because I want him over that way more. So I'll just put him there. And let me see this one. Maybe that one just there. Okay, let's just see. Let's just do it. Come on, Wendy. All right, so I'll put this big one on first. Maybe I can pull that one up a bit more. Yeah. Okay. And now I was thinking a butterfly over here too. So Hmm, I might do that. Okay, let's put this piece down the bottom here. So I'm going to bring that off the page just slightly and put that on there. And doing it this way you still pick up the background so I can with the tissue the napkin over the top I can still see the the writing from the text paper in the background right now this one I'm going to put up a little bit higher I think with the butterfly and try and face him face him this way out here Okay, so I'll just put that there. Now, do I want that other piece on or not? That one up there. Mm, let me have a look. So I was going to try and make that come off that leaf there. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to do it. Put it on. And just something like that. Whoops. Okay, doke. That's good. Okay. All right, so that one needs to dry too. That looks good. I like that. I like both of them. So we've got those two there and they really need to dry so I better put them over here somewhere. Okay and these ones so I really don't want the same on those ones so what I might do let's just scratch some of these on and see how they go trying to use up things that I've had here for a while okay so I've got this let's put that on down there oh that's what I need don't oh, I can use this I think Let's try and see if this works anyway. Move it up a bit. That fits on there just perfectly. Just let me get something. I'll get my small cutting board just to put under it so it's just a bit hard, easier that I can press on something hard. That one there is so come off so rough, but that's okay. 
I can handle that. And this one here I think is going to be harder to get off too. Let's see if I lift it when I scratch. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, so I've got that one. What did I do with the other one? Oh, no. Put your glue up. I didn't know. I forgot all about that. Huh. <laughs> My gluey paintbrush. And that one. Okay, so I'll put that on there, but that's all right. Right, so I've got that. And I might cut some of those birds off. That's, those birds come off a lot better, I think, than those... Those other half doily things. Okay, so let me check. That one there. And this one here hasn't come quite off. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty cool. So I've used some rub ons on that. And. I don't think I want um, treasure. Yuck. That's got glue on it. Uh, cup. I don't know what I want on that one. <laughs> Where are those little sayings? There is beauty in simplicity. So I might put that on, but I don't know what else, maybe butterfly, no, let's put the, the crown on there and then I'll put that little saying over that way there, oh the crown, I mean the the king playing card. It's easier to actually lift this up and press down at the same time. It seems to stick a lot better. And this, I don't know how old these rub-ons are. They are pretty old. But I'm using them up, which is good. Instead of throwing them out. How's that going? The lines here. Okay, that'll do because my hand is killing me. Oh my goodness. Oh, hooly dooly. I think I was some. Um, I was clutching that too tight. Okay, so with this one here now I'm just going to just trim this down a little bit. Okay, and cut it in half I think. So there is beauty in simplicity. Oh, hurly dooly. That was hard. Okay, I might just ink around those edges if I can find my... There it is, behind the glue. I could have done this in black, but I just... My vintage photo was just the closest here. Okay, bit of glue on them. I hope I don't have a bad day with this glue today. Oh, the other day, I just couldn't get a glue to work. 
Okay. No, that's good. We've got some glue. So there is beauty. In simplicity. I'll just use a bit of that, I think. Is that straight? That doesn't look straight. Now that does. Okay, so I like the look of that one. Very plain, but that's up there. Hang on. A bit of glue on there. There we go. So that one's pretty much done on that side. I'm just going to put a bit of ink. We were supposed to decorate both sides, so which was one of the, the guideline things. So on this side here, um, I'm still going to, st I'm not going to put any collage in because I'm going to leave most of that for journaling on or writing on. So what I might do on here is put this little butterfly in that <coughs> so oh here goes my hand again don't hold it so tight Wendy oh my goodness <laughs> these old hands are killing me that was really yucky rubbing I've got too many marks scratched into the paper, but that's okay. <coughs> Pardon me. So what I might do is grab my ink for this one. Ink in this one because I just want to put just a little bit of stamping on this just to see if I can cover. Just cover that up a bit there. Okay. All right, that's good. I like that. All right, so I've got that one decorated on the back and on the front in a mixed media style. And I will so stitch around that one as well. Okay, so that's one done. Now, this one here, what am I going to do on this one, guys? Um, I just thought I've got some stamping there I may as well put some stamping on the front as well because that's just another little element thing isn't it there ok I like that I do want a little bit just there ok done Alright, I'm going to actually stop and go out and get a cuppa because that's what I feel like. So I shall be back and by the time I come back those um, other two, these other two should be dry pretty soon. Okay. Alright, I shall be back guys. I'm back guys. It's actually quite a few hours since I was in here last. These are just touch dry, so I'm going to trim these up, come in a bit, I mean move my chair in a bit, I've got the wrong scissors, I've picked up the wrong scissors but that's okay, I'm going to keep going because I'll need a clean anyway. Alright, so that one there is nearly 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 dry still see a few little spots on it wet spots 
Okay, now, oh, this one here, that one's just touch dry too. Right, okay, that's done. So, I had this one to go, um, just leave them up there, they might still dry a little bit. Oops. I had this one. Oh, I done that one, didn't I? I had this one to go. <laughs> um, now with this, I might do. I might do some stamping. I'll grab those stamps. At least make for me to at least make one. Oops one sewing one out of it. I've got this little corner stamp here and I haven't used these before so they're very hard to to get off. Oh, come on. I don't think I've ever had one that hard to to rip off the acetate before. These stamps came from they were like a freebie with a magazine. Gosh. And I can see myself ending up ripping this one in half. Goodness gracious. Oh, hooly dooly. Okay, so I was going to put that one up in a corner and maybe down on this corner here and it's got tools and everything on there it's got a nice handmade with love on it so I might try and get that one off Oh, it says just for you, handmade with love. Oh. Is it just me or is it? No, it's not me, it's these. Goodness sakes. And I've already got the, um, the pins and needle ones off there. for the moment. So I've got those ones. Let me just do this this one here. Doesn't want to stick on there now. Let's see. I'm gonna get a spare bit of paper. That'll do. Oh, and just stamp that on there first. Oh, goodness sake. Oh, that looks alright, doesn't it? That stamp's okay. Alright, we'll try that on here. Okay. Oh, turn that. Alright, let's put this on here up in the corner so I'll just hold that down for a bit it seemed to stamp all right that first time it's a little bit light but that's okay and I'm going to put one down in the other adjacent corner with this one I'll just turn that around there it's very faint with the <coughs> um, vintage photo that one's even fainter but that's okay I know I've got a little bit on there of something um, just put that up there and this one here
It's got needles, um, scissors and a little stamp that says handmade with love. Let's put some of that on. Maybe just use this for a bit of background. That's a bit darker. Alright, I'm just going to put some ink on and just stamp it down there again. And stamp this one just up there. So that's going to, that's just added to my background for something. I don't know what, but yeah. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So, just put that one back there. And where did this one come from? Oh, there in the centre. Okay, well I've used a bit of that anyway. I'll leave them down there. So what else can I do with this one? Let's put some of these. Let's put this treasure down there. I don't know why because I just want to use it up I think, mainly. side. Oh, that come off. No problems at all. Okay, so we've got treasure there. And let's put those up there. Little border. There's that one. So I've used up a couple of more of those. And let's just, no, I don't want to use any more of them now. Okay, so what I want, need to do is just um, find something else for this. I will put a little bit of text on here. And I'll use the black because the um, the vintage photo is not showing up that much. Oh my god, it started raining again. Can you believe that? I can't. Goodness sake. <sighs> I can't remember the last time we had so much rain. Okay, so I've got that on, and I think I want to find something, um, I don't know, something, something for that. Where's my little, oh here we go, let's have a look in here. I've got a, um, this is just a little thing that I a little jar that I've got a few little cut out pieces of okay I like that and I got something not sure what else I want to put on there let me have a look at that Mm. 
I'm not feeling it guys, not feeling it. Maybe that one. That um, says explore down there. I have a lot of butterflies in here too. I've got a couple of hearts. Hmm, no. Maybe a butterfly. I cut some butterflies out the other day. Yeah, I actually like that. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I might just ink around these edges of these little elements here. Uh, this one here is just a stamp that I have and I've done quite a bit of stamping out with my stamps and just cut them out when I really wasn't feeling that creative in the last couple of weeks. So, yeah. Oh, and we've got That sounds like ambulance or fire. The police are a lot louder when they go zooming past our place. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. And I am going to put it just up in this corner. And put another, put that label just there. and just bring the butterfly down there and that will do that's at least two finished isn't it and not really the theme that I was going for I was going for more of a sewing theme to put in that um, journal I was making but yeah that's okay I like the way that's turned out and I'll just ink around my edges supposed to decorate the back too, aren't we? What did I do with the last one? Oh, just that one. No. Okay, so with this one I'll just do another little bit of stamping on the back. me that's decorated the back. <laughs> okay so there's two so far and I've got these two here to do um, but they're still really not not that quite dry but I will put a bit of stamping on them. Just in the plain spots. Okay, so that looks alright. Oh, I wonder what's going on. Just a bit there I think. Okay, so I've done that and I've got some stamping on them and I'll just run around the edge. I think they're still pretty damp 
these ones. It hasn't dried completely. Okay, I do like that napkin though. Right, so with these two, what, what, what? I actually have, oh I didn't use that stamp either, I'm not going to because they annoyed me. <laughs> um, now with this one, I still have some of these dried flowers that were sent to me by, hmm, now let me get this right, Andrea, and Andrea, I can't undo those, there, so what I might do, maybe put some of these on there, I'm really going to have to use them up. They're, they're looking a bit sorry for themselves. So I suppose they don't really last forever ever, do they? Um, Okay, so I might do that, put those on, oh, they've got, I've got a couple, no I won't use those flowers, put those back in there, okay, so I've got that and um, I'm going to just glue those on. I'm just going to use some of this glue. I think that's that's actually the back there. I can't. I can't tell. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to just gently put oops. Just a dab of glue underneath these. I don't really want to cover that butterfly up too much, so I might go up that way. Okay, that's alright, I don't mind that. Okay, so I've got that on there and I think I do want some kind of saying on these. I might do just cut this up here. This one is enjoy the view. And this one says from this day forward. I'm just gonna trim this down just a fraction. There we go, and this one I'm just going to put straight across the bottom, I think. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I will give these a bit of an ink up around the edges. And then I'm going to grab some heavy plastic or... Um, or acetate and I'm going to actually cover the front. Oh, I closed that. Glue doesn't work if you've got it closed. Right. Right, so I'm just going to put that one there. And The last little saying. Yep, that looks better there. Maybe just bring that out a bit if I can so it's not so straight. There we go, that's better. Okay, well, now I'm going to grab some.
plastic or acetate which I should have quite near me. I'll just grab that okay. guys. I found some acetate and what I thought I might do is actually cover that the whole front in that and then sew it on. So I just have to work out the width of that and just trim that down. So say we've got, where am I? There. It's about five inches. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. So there's that one. And cut this one at five and a quarter too. Okay. All right. So I think I need to wipe my acetate down. It's a bit dirty. I have to clean it a bit. So that one's going to. Whoops. That one's going to be placed on there. Okay. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Might look um. A little bit shiny to you but that's okay so I've got that one there and this one here has got glue and that one is going to go right over that one okay so I'm gonna go off camera now and stitch around these and I shall be back guys I'm back guys I have sewn around my index cards and I'm just in the process of trimming off the edges and I thought I'd come back on and show you how easy it is. I could have used my my cutting board but it's just as easy just to grab a pair of scissors and just cut the acetate up close to the edge of the index card. Okay, done. There we go. Oh, and I think I do like them. They look lovely. They look lovely. I'm just trying to pack up a few things out of my road. I've made another bigger mess, haven't I? <laughs> oh, but that's just the joys of crafting, isn't it? Okay, so that's it, guys. I have done it. I done the little challenge. It was a mixed media challenge. Uh, the glue under that one's still not dry, and I'm not sure if you're gonna see it very well, but it says enjoy the view, and that's a really big index card. I'll just let you know the size of these ones. Um, that that's eight inches by five inches. This index card. So these ones are pretty large ones. And I haven't decorated the back, so one of the things was that you had to have the front and back decorated. But I want to use the back for writing on. So I'm just going to put a bit of stamping on there and voila, the background, the back is done. Same with this one. Okay. There we go, back's done. I've got something on the back anyway. Um, I suppose it all depends what you're going to use them for. So there's the other one from this from this day forward. So I hope you can see that okay. I think you can. A little bit of flashing light, but they turned out so cool and they've actually got the real the dried leaves in there. And there's that one and then I did go around and stitched around the edge of my smaller index cards and they're those two so yay that's it guys I hope you enjoyed I enjoyed it too which is the main thing I think okay 
all right so you all have a great day stay safe stay healthy and i will catch you later guys bye